what is something that is stressing you out the most right now and how are you kind of working to to resolve it? <laughs> what is stressing me out the most? Let's see. You know, that's tough for me to answer because I don't, I try not to stress about things. I come at it from more of like a productive perspective. Like it doesn't really help me to stress. Um, I will say one of the things. Yeah. I'll frame it a different way. What is the biggest roadblock to productivity for your team currently that you're working to resolve? Um, I would say that the thing that I spend the most time thinking about, I'll go there, is going to be the the handoff between the SDR and the AE, as well as appropriate expectations either way, right? Because I think there's a lot of variables there to consider that only once you've generated enough data can you look back and find the right answer. So like the easiest one for me to think of, for example, is who's responsible for the show rate? Because if you have a handoff, then you have a place where you could argue either way that somebody is responsible for the show rate, but ultimately deciding who is will impact what happens next. So if the AE is responsible, you have the potential that SDRs will then hand off opportunities that aren't necessarily as qualified as they should be, knowing that AEs are responsible. But if AEs aren't responsible, then you reduce the probability that the necessary activities to get that meeting to show up will take place. And so that's one of those dynamic things that vary situation to situation. I don't know that there is a right answer, but there is a right answer for any given situation. But again, being relatively new in the function, the meetings I've scheduled have not come to pass yet. That's still a big unknown for me. So I spend a lot of time thinking about how KPIs impact incentive structures, which then impact activities. So I would say that's the biggest one for me is how do you successfully manage that handoff from SDR to AE? What are the trade-offs between having an SDR manage more of that relative to prospecting net new versus how much should the AE do as well? So I would say that's that's probably the biggest thing I spend a lot of time thinking about because I don't know that there's any one right answer. Yeah, I will say, getting back to one of the initial points we're talking about is like why we've heard we have so many customers of Orem who tell us like that, you know, all things being equal between different platforms, because so many platforms are so close, they choose us because of our people. And I think we think a lot about that handoff from SDR to AE and then AE to CSM and like kind of keeping, how often do you keep people involved in the conversation and how do you streamline and you know, eloquently do it in a way, like you said, where your SDRs can get back to the thing that maybe they're supposed to be doing versus, you know, AEs. It's it's a big question. I think and I think you're right about it's always going to vary from customer to customer, prospect to prospect, deal to deal. Right. I think it's it's interesting to try to approach it. Is there is there a framework you've thought through as like as you're just kind of ramping up these conversations with your team that you're leaning towards, or are you still very much evaluating like if it'll be the same in this role as it was in previous organizations? So I, I, the only first principles perspective that I'm coming at this from is that you want to incentivize the behavior you want as, as close to its occurrence as possible to think almost kind of like a Pavlovian sense Right. So you present the food, you ring the bell, like the two are related. And so I would say that as close to a meeting being as accepted as possible, you want to reinforce that either AE or SDR, again, situation dependent, but speed to reinforcement of behavior, I think is really the only, the only logical way to start from a first principles perspective. And I think building in a couple of those, those feedback loops prior to a meeting is the best way to go about that. Almost like a gamification on the the part of the prospect. And I mean, I, th- I think that makes sense. So like, like you said, I ultimately, you know, people can, I don't want to speak for the masses, but people can say they're motivated by like enjoying the people that they work with. And that's, that's great. I love the people I work with. If you ask me the thing that I'm motivated by, it's watching my paycheck grow. Like, and so if I know this thing gets me more money, like you said, is very Pavlovian. It's like I'm gonna focus on that thing. So I think that's a, that's probably the best, a good path to go down. I think that'll set you up for success. 
I think it's Warren Buffett is that you or actually it was Charlie Munger, RIP to a real one, yeah. mm-hmm. who said, uh, you know, you show me the you show me the incentives, I'll show you the outcome. Mm-hmm. And uh he was a pretty smart dude, so yeah. hard <laughs> yeah. to go wrong with that. 